Hi, it's Mike from Pro Tools Expert, and today I'm going to give you a sneak preview at the new VizLM 2 from New Gen Audio. So this is the VizLM that we're used to, and if we just get the session going, at first glance there is relatively little difference between them. Uh, this one's just a little bit bigger, a uh, couple of little extra pieces here, so there's a, an extra tab here, a little arrow here, an arrow down here. But at uh, first glance, they look as though there isn't a huge amount of difference between them. Or is there? Well, actually, there is a huge amount of difference. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is to close the original, move this one up here, and then get hold of its bottom corner. There's the first thing you can't do with the original one. So, VizLM2, we can now fully resize the window any shape or size that we wanted. So I could actually pretty well fill the screen if I wanted to. Uh, just pull that all the way down. So lots of options for resizing the display. So that's the first thing. And then secondly, we've got some extra tabs down here. So one of the ones that we've got here is macro and this now is showing us everything since i started playing and then this window here is showing me what i can see in the screen here but i can actually pause the display and actually go back and investigate what's going on and even look at particular level at that point so I can read it off the display up here what was happening at that moment in time and then back on there and then it's back into its normal position as they were coming it was just a cloud of sand and the next thing I want to show you is this little plus button here between the loudness and the true peak, which of course we had both the loudness and the true peak buttons before, but now we've got this little plus button. And when you tick it, we can now see the true peak metering at the same time as watching everything else, which is really great because it's the one thing I missed on VizLM was not being able to see the true peak meter, always having to switch to the other mode to see the true peak meter. Well, now... I can be in loudness, click on the plus button, and see the true peak at the same time. So we've got a lot of options. We've also got this true peak, and so on the display here, we haven't had a, a true peak moment uh, just yet, but it will display a true peak moment. But the biggest improvement in VizLM2 is the ability to drop in and update loudness measurements just as though you would patch a particular issue on a on a mix we can now patch the loudness data and we don't have to reanalyze everything from start to finish so let me show you how that works we've got the different modes so we've got elapsed system and time code just as we had on the old VizLM, but the time code option is very different and so if i just go back here now what i've got here is the analysis of a previous mix that i've done on this particular program and so i can move the window around i can investigate up moments and so here we have an example where there was a true peak excursion so on the histogram here it's given us a little red dot because i set in the options that my true peak maximum to be at minus three db true peak because i want to be aware of any true peaks that would be an issue when it comes to encoding the content using a lossy codec so there we have a, a, a little moment here and what i can do is i can go in and patch this so if i just go and put 
So this was around 6 minutes 10. So if we just scroll down the timeline to around 6 minutes 10, and I just place the cursor here, there you are. You can see it's already picking up. And that true peak moment has gone because what I've done now is insert the new gen audio ISL2 and I've set it here so that the true peak limits at minus 3 dB true peak. So now when we go back to our VizLM2, just close the mix window for the moment, we can pick up around here and now we've got my true peak limiter. It's now taking care of all the different true peak moments. So what I could do is I could just literally drop in the track and there's also the option to set the pre-roll time down here and so if I set the pre-roll time on my Pro Tools transport window to be three seconds as I've got it here so now when I go into record it's going to pre-roll the three seconds drop into record it's now taking care of those peak moments just for that particular moment and then if we go back to our loudness meter it's then recalculating the loudness range the integrated loudness for the whole program i haven't got to go through and analyze the whole program now you can see up here around here there is another true peak moment in fact we've got quite a loud se sequence so that's at around 8.44. So if we now go down the, the timeline, down to around 8.44, and we can now patch that section. So we'll go from about there. We'll use the pre-roll and into record. So here we are. It's now doing the analysis, and we'll see that the increase the levels will just be managed we should see that this true peak moment should clear there it goes and the true peaks are just sitting on that element just helping to contain the excessive levels at that moment in time and the integrated figure is being constantly updated for the whole program without having to reanalyze the entire program. And there we are, there is the end of the patch. Now you can also see that right down here near the beginning, there is actually a section of the program that hasn't been analyzed. So I've skipped that bit. So again, what I can do is go look at the timeline. So it's around 25 seconds, so we can go uh, all the way back to 25 seconds and we can put the cursor here and again we can just play from there and we can see now that this will be reanalyzed and pick up and fill that particular gap very simple very very easy and it again will update the integrated and the loudness range figures for the whole program. So this has made what was already very much my go-to loudness metering plugin even better. Uh, for me, having the true peak visible from the main window is just absolutely phenomenal. So that's another really useful feature. Uh, the options has changed very slightly. We've got a number of additional tabs here we've got a range of alerts that we can put on uh, we can as before export the data we can determine which of the parameters will go into the data and how frequently that data will be logged and so we've got one for text-based data so we can actually set that and it will create a text log and then we've got the automation log. So this one here, because you'll notice that I just recalled it from the preset that I've got within Pro Tools. Now we've got some global settings, so we can do a timecode offset if we need to. We can set the frame rate. 
So all these different options, we've still got the usual presets available as before, and we've got other elements that we can add into the history. We can obviously get rid of the history altogether. We can get rid of the loudness distribution element, so we can just simplify it right down and go back to the meters so we can have it just like that. We can obviously put the loudness distribution back in. We can put the history. And of course, the great thing about the resizing the window now is I can make the history section really, really long. And obviously I could change the timings so that I can see more of it in one go. And then hitting this little arrow button here, we've got, I could actually display all the momentary loudness and also the variance, which is a little like, we just get rid of the couple of the others just so that you can get a sense of what's happening. So there's the short term loudness, there's the variance. So this is a subset of data from the loudness range. So again, it gives you a sense of dynamic range. And we can turn on and off the integrated value. So this line here is giving me a visual indication of the current integrated loudness figure with obviously the zero line in this case, because I'm working to a relative scale being my target loudness. So a lot more visual information. Great to see the resizing. Love the fact that I can look at the true peak meter as well as the other meters and in fact this meter here i've got it in if you like standard mode classic mode but if we go into the options and we look at the loudness meter you can actually change that to read short term and loudness so we've got two meters whereas in the classic mode what we had was a short term meter and then the arrow here is giving us the momentary loudness. But if you prefer, then you can go over and select uh, short term and momentary and have two separate bar graph meters for each of those parameters. I'm still in many respects getting to terms with the revolution that the VizLM2 is going to bring to the workflow because it's going to save so much time being able to drop in and correct moments of the program that are too loud. This macro view gives me a great indication of where there are problems and helps me to then go in and analyze it. The fact that I can go in and move the display around investigate it let's just turn the variance off for a moment investigate particular moments here read off the figures perhaps consider that there may well be a, an issue there uh, but also then just to very quickly go back in and the whole thing scrolls along with my pro tools so i hope you too are taken by this sneak preview of Viz LM2, which is going to be part of the new Loudness Toolkit 2 that New Gen Audio will release at NAB this year. So we've already had a sneak preview of the ISL2 limiter. And when we were at BVE, the guys at New Gen Audio gave us a sneak preview of LM Correct 2. The new Loudness Toolkit 2 has really taken what were three really good products and made them well, 10 times better if, if that were possible. But the additions and the refinements just make it easier and easier to work in the new loudness workflow. So I hope that's helped and I'll see you again soon.